I've had my DJI Pocket 3 for about six months now. And so I'm gonna do an unboxing for you to see what the contents are inside, as well as footage samples of different light setting and some features I really like about the DJI Pocket 3. I actually used to own a Canon G7X Mark II along with a DJI Pocket 2. Now, a lot of people will probably say that a DJI Pocket 3 might not be an upgrade from a G7X Mark II, but because I've had it for a couple of months and have used it fairly well, I can only say that it's a massive upgrade. But now I'm being biased here, but it's probably one of the best vlogging cameras in the market. So there are two ways that you can get the DJI Pocket 3. You can buy it on its own with just the camera and then buy the accessories later down the line. But I opted in for the creator combo, which gives you all of these things that I have just unboxed for you. But I'm going to list it down for you. So these are the actual Osmo Pocket 3 handheld device, Type-C to Type-C PD cable, an Osmo Pocket 3 protective cover, a wrist strap, Pocket 3 handle with one fourth thread, an Osmo Pocket 3 wide angle lens, a DJI Mic 2 transmitter in shadow black, the mic windscreen, the mic clip magnet, and the Osmo Pocket 3 battery handle, and the mini tripod. I think for the price and the accessories included, I think it's worth it. Now, of course, the main reason why you're watching this video is you want to see the quality of the DJI Pocket 3. Now, I just want to put a disclaimer out there that I'm not a tech channel. So, of course, I'm just using it as someone who does a lot of lifestyle and user-generated content. I always use it on auto setting. Of course, there are other ways to use it, but I don't want to get too technical about it. So my favorite thing about the DJI Pocket 3 is that it films in landscape and portrait. This is actually the main reason as to why I bought it because shorts and reels have taken up a lot of space in social media compared to the vertical format. When I had the G7X Mark II, it was quite difficult to get a nice crisp audio because it won't allow you to have an external mic and so the DJI mic elevated the audio of my videos. Apart from that, as you can see on bright light, it captures the color so well, it's vibrant and it's true to color and this is what it looks like on low light. Well, it's not completely pitch black but at least it still gives you a nice video with a little bit of mood lighting. Oh, and let's not forget the main reason why I love this camera is because it's so small and portable. I am actually quite shy with filming in public, but with this camera, it helps a little bit. Also, I really don't like bringing big cameras because I just feel like it's a bit of a hassle and I'm not into the cinematic side of the industry anyways. So for me, the DJI Pocket 3 is just the right fit. But yeah, I am very much in love with my DJI Pocket 3 and I think it was a great investment to have. It might sound like I'm hyping the DJI Pocket 3 so much because in reality, I am. But if you really want to nitpick about the DJI Pocket 3 outside of technicalities, then I would just have to say that the gimbal sometimes annoys me. Even when it's kept in my bag with the cover, for some reason it just wants to peek out. But that's just me being really picky. So yeah, that's the DJI Pocket 3 and that's the one I'll be using for quite some time till a new camera goes on the market again. If you want to see footages using my DJI camera and the vlogs I make with it, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel to 10k this year, so I'll see you in the next one.